Hi guys, it's Sue from the Painted Turtle. Today we are going to paint our Space Odyssey mugs. Um, you have a different shaped mug than I do. I'm using an old mug that um, was painted black at one point in time, so it looks kind of gross, but it will work for what we need it to do for this class, which is a super fun, super exciting, and super easy class. So what you're going to need is your mug. You're going to need a pencil. You're also going to need just a piece of paper and some paper towel. Okay. You're going to need, oh, you're going to need your paint. I've got some random colors. I've got number one, number two, number three, number 28. I have the letter P and I have our number 12 black. Okay. So we have purple, orange, yellow, red, blue, and black. Those are all the colors that's gonna be in my mug. I've got some brushes, lots of brushes. Water source for uh, washing my brushes. Um, I need some circle things to make my planet. So I just grabbed some random things around the house um, or around the studio, I should say, to make planets. Um, and then scissors, you're gonna need some scissors. And, and then I have a bowl of water to wet our paper towel. I could use that to wa uh, wet our paper towel, but I think it's easier to do it in here, okay? So the first thing we're gonna work on is um, our paper towel, okay? So we're gonna get all the background colors on our mug, and it is the most fun way to do this. Um, it's kind of like tie-dyeing, but what we're gonna do with our mug is we're going to actually paint on the paper towel. And then we're gonna smush that all on here. Um, and then it's gonna dry. And then we're gonna mask it off with some planets. It's gonna be super fun. You're gonna love this mug. Then we're gonna um, make some galaxy effect. So just, it's gonna be super fun, okay? First thing we need to do our, to our paper towel. I have the select a size paper towel. If you don't have paper towel, you can also do the exact same thing with saran wrap. You can also do it with um, wax paper, and you can also do it with parchment paper. All of those papers will work perfectly fine um, to do this effect, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this piece of paper towel wet, okay? You have a couple of options. You can leave it like this and then just take a nice big paintbrush like this and get it wet. That's going to take you a long, 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 long time if you want to do it that way. It's not the worst way to do it, but it's not the best way to do it. You could get a nice big fluffy paper brush like this and do it. Also, not the best way, not the worst way. But what I like to do is I just like to take my paper towel, dip it in my water, kind of squeeze it off, and then open it back up. Okay. You don't want it really, really, really drippy wet but we are gonna put this back down on the table like that. Kind of disappears once you put it on the table, but that's okay. Then we're gonna take um, a paintbrush, whatever paintbrush you wanna use, there's no right or wrong. Um, and we're just gonna kind of glob some paint all over this paper towel. And I'm gonna use um, my purple, put some globby purples in here. Okay, just kind of glob it down. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's some purples. I'm gonna go into some reds. Um, colors that you don't wanna put too close to each other. For example, purples and yellows, where they meet, they'll go kind of like a brown color. You don't want that. So I like to kind of have my colors blend a little bit really well together. So I put some red in here. The best color that blends with red would be orange or, or yellow, but I'm gonna do some orange here. Do some orange on this way. And I'm really loading it up. I'm not being, I'm not being stingy with my paint. I'm really putting a lot of paint on here. Okay, you can go into a different brush if you really want a good, like a nice yellow without any other color in it. And put yellow up in here. Kind of dabbing it down. Um, and we're going to do this all over our mug. 
So you can do it a couple of times with a couple of different pieces of paper towel. It always looks really good if you don't try and do it all in one. I'm gonna pick up some blue, put some blue over here. You wanna be careful that your blue and your orange don't touch too much because that's gonna make a brown on you. Okay, let's put some more red back over here because it blends beautifully with both of those colors. Okay, so I've got a nice little selection going on here. Let me put this down for a second. Now, what I want to do is I want to kind of move this off to the side. You, you, it's okay to get it on your table. It'll come off. I'm going to put my mug down. Okay. Then I'm going to take this paper towel and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to paint, put the paint side down onto the mug. Okay. So whoop, right down like that. And just kind of smoosh it in. This is the fun part. It feels a little bit gross when you're doing it, but it's fun and you're just gonna smush it. You can take a sponge if you want and sponge it around. Okay, I like using my hands. Do, 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 do. Okay, then when I feel like I've got it all smushed where I want it to be, I'm gonna peel this away. Ooh, ooh. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with another paper towel over on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. This piece of paper towel, you could reuse it if it didn't get all squishy, but mine kind of got squishy. So I'm gonna reuse or just get a new one. Okay, wash, rinse. Maybe that last piece of paper towel was just a little bit too wet, but that's okay. Unravel. Um, even if you have like that brown paper towel, that brown, shop paper towel that works really good for this as well. I'm gonna put it down and get more paint, more paint. And you can change your colors up. You can do all different colors if you want um, in different orders. I don't remember, I think I started with purple last time. I'm gonna start with red this time. And then I'm gonna do some blue. And I'm just being random as where does it go? Like it doesn't have to be nice shapes. It's just kind of random. And you don't even have to cover your entire mug if you don't want to. It's just basically where you want your, um, where you want your planets to be. Now I'm gonna do some yellow, I think. Yellow, yellow or green here, make this neat green sort of earthy tone color. You know, because blue and yellow make green. Let's pick some orange up. Why not? Orange. Perfect. Okay. So that makes me happy. That's going to do the rest of my mug. Okay, so I got that side sort of done. I'm gonna flip it over to this side now and I'm gonna add some color over here. Let's just move this over. There we go. Put this down. And flip. Let's do this right there. Excellent. Oh, just stuck my hand in the black. <laughs> That's okay. So again, squishing it around. Okay. If you see here where it separates a little bit, just kind of move your, manipulate your paper towel. Okay. There we go. Flip, open that up, put it down here. There we go. Okay. What you're gonna do, ah, you're gonna take the black off your hand. <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're going to um, peel off again that paper towel. 
and then you're going to let it dry while we work on the next step. Okay, so peel off the paper towel. Ooh. Oh, that's cool looking. You can always go back in here and like smoosh some colors down in different spots. I know it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, and that's okay because we're going to add, we're going to cover up a lot of this. You're not even going to see it, but I just wanted to get some color down on there. And it's okay to have some white stuff too, because it just looks like um, in like in a mountain range or something, you know, in space, clouds, there'll be cloud cover on your, um, on your mug, on your planets. Okay, so I'm going to put this off to the side for a minute, and we're going to work on circles. Okay, so I just wiped my surface down because it was really wet and lots of paint on there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to make some planets now. So I'm just going to take a circle and draw a circle. Just one circle. I'm going to take this circle, draw another circle. And then maybe a little circle around the other end because it's smaller. You can have as many planets as you want um, in as many sizes as you want. Is that close to that size? Uh, let's do a big one. There's some circles, maybe another little one. There we go. Okay, now we have to cut those out. Whoops. Yeah, so now we were gonna, I'm gonna put five planets on my, galaxy here. And I'm just going to cut these guys out. And again, they don't have to be perfect. And if you need a big person's help for this, ask for a big person's help, they'll help you. They want you to have as much fun and they want you to have, um, they want you to be happy with what you make. So they'll help you cut it. Okay, so there's one planet. Are you guys having a good March break so far? Hope so. Um, I hope that you will show me pictures of this. Well, actually, you'll bring it all back in for firing, so I'll see it anyways. But I hope that you'll share some pictures of you guys working on your on your pieces. Like, I want to see you actually doing it. So one thing about the camp bags is, I really like when I get to see you guys and watch you make art because making art is fun. Okay, so we're going to cut out all of our planets. This is this technique that we're doing right here is called paper masking. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use these round pieces of paper to block off the areas that we don't want uh, our black, black blue paint to touch. We're going to make a really nice black blue for the galaxy. Okay, so you could do all black if you want to. You could do dark blue if you want to. There's no right or wrong. I think on my sample, I did um, all black. And then I was like, you know, I really like that idea of like a black blue or even a black purple. You could do any of those really. But I like a black blue. So that's what we're gonna do is a deep, 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 deep blue. And you guys know that you can mix any of our paints to make your own colors. So if you aren't quite happy with how dark or light a paint color is, you could either add just black or white to it, make it any color that you want. If you're not quite happy how um, pink a pink is, add a little bit of red to it, make it a pinker or a deeper pink. You won't get hot pink though, unfortunately, because it just takes a lot to make a hot pink paint. Like the manufacturers tell it, they every April Fool's Day, they say to us, hey, we came out with hot pink paint. April Fool's Day, because they can't, because it takes, it takes real gold and a lot of real gold to make hot pink. Okay, so I've got my planets cut out. I've got my mug, it's started to dry. It's dry enough that I'm happy that I can put some other colors in here. If as it's drying, you're thinking, oh, there's not a lot of color on there. I wanna add some more color. You absolutely can. How I recommend doing that is actually taking your paper towel 
um, like right here, if I want more red, I'm just gonna take my paper towel and dip it kind of in the red. Um, I don't wanna paint because I want to keep that effect, right? So I'm just gonna smush my paper towel with some red on there if I wanted to add a little bit more red, okay? Um, you can do it that way. I'm, I'm fine with how everything is, but I just wanna show you if you're not quite happy, you can totally do that, okay? But I think these are amazing colors. And again, remember, all of these colors are going to come out so much um, brighter once we once we actually fire this. So don't stress about how it looks exactly right now because it's going to look completely different once we once it comes out of the oven. I'm just trying to get all the black off my hands. I have lots of black on my hands. Okay, so we're going to take our planets. I'm going to start with the big guy. And I'm going to take my water over here. I'm going to move my brushes out of the way. Take my water over here. I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to put it in my water and I'm going to hold it in there for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to take it out and shake it off. Okay. Then I'm going to put it where I want a planet to be, kind of right there. Tap it down, make sure it's right down onto the mug. Okay, squish it down. Now what happens is when we paint over this, that paper is going to protect the paint that's underneath there. So that when we peel that off, those are gonna be the colors of the planet. Let's do a little planet, maybe down here. One, two, three, four, five, shake it off. And pop it right there. Okay, smoosh it down, make sure it's stuck. You can do a full plant, another full planet. You can do a half planet. If you want to do like it coming off of there, you can. I'm going to do, hmm, not sure yet. Two, three, four, five. Shake it off. Let's do this one right up here, just at the lip. Oh, try that again, Sue. Not stuck to my hand. <laughs> there we go. It's because this paint has um, oh, um, rocks in it. So you just want to not smoosh it too fast. You want to make sure you use your finger, smoosh it down. There we go. Okay. Then we're gonna put another planet, right? I think a big one, big one near the yellow, because that will be cool. Right, this area right here, I like. I want that as a planet. Two, three, four, five. Do 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 do. Right. Okay, so see, I'm just gently patting it down at first, making sure it's completely stuck. And then you can focus more on areas that are kind of, it's okay for paper creases. Your prob yours probably won't crease as much as mine is creasing because your cup doesn't curve like mine. Yours is a straight edge cup. Straight edge cups work much better than this, than this um, curved cup does. Do, do, do. There we go. Then a little planet. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Let's put this little planet right. Where do we want this little planet? Right there, I think. Right there. Okay. So. I've got my planets down, just taking a piece of paper towel and smushing them so that I can make sure they're really smushed in there really well. All right, they're down. Perfect, so I've got planets all over, okay? Your mug at this point in time is close to being halfway done, more than halfway probably. 
I haven't painted the inside yet. Not sure what I want to do with that. You can paint it a solid color. You can do the mushy colors inside. It's entirely up to you. I'm going to mix a darker blue. So I have my number P or my letter P and I'm going to add some black to it. And I'm going to just add a little bit of black, smush that in there. Whoops. And just remember that whatever you see is going to come out about, um, it'll come out about two to three shades darker than what you see, okay? This is gonna be almost a black blue, okay? I'm using a fan brush, but a big fluffy brush will work. Any, any big brush will do what you want it to do at this point in time, okay? Scoop that up, clean it off. Okay, so notice I didn't overly stir that because it's okay if I have swirls of color in there. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna paint, but I'm gonna come away from that circle. Okay, I wanna paint that away from that circle so that I'm not pushing paint underneath it. Okay. And I'm gonna cover my whole mug this way, the outside. I'm gonna go up here. Dab over here, same thing here, pull away from that circle. Not going towards it, pulling away from it. Right, I'm gonna do that all over. And the great thing is some of these fleckle paints like the orange um, and the purple have white dots in them. So they're really gonna help you. Oops, I went right into my book. Um, they're really gonna help you get that star effect because they're gonna explode into this and you'll see little white stars. Works really well for this. Okay, so good coat of paint. The great thing is with this dark black blue, you really only need one to two coats. You don't need to do three coats. Black is a really deep color and you don't need a lot of layers of it. It's kind of the be all and end all of colors. So painting my mug all over. And again, think about what you wanna do inside your mug. Um, how you want it to look. You can make one of it, like if you want just one solid color, like a purple, um, you could do that. Or you could mix like some purple and blue together. Um, you can make it all red, whatever color you want inside there. There's no right or wrong. Your number 31 always, always looks good inside a mug. Okay, I'm gonna do my handle completely black or not completely black, but all of this color. <clears throat> Painting, painting. Make sure you get right in there. You want to get all the little spots. Lots of fun. There we go. covering all the areas that you can. I made enough paint to do the first coat of paint on here. I'm gonna to have to make another batch to do the second coat. And that's okay, because if it's not exact, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so that is, just make sure you check your mug from all different angles to see if you got everything. You can do the bottom. I'm gonna get all of this off the table. You can do the bottom if you want. There you go. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to do or something, oh, I just banged my thing, banged my, my water. If you wanna do a really cool thing in here and add like a really cool effect to this, um, you could now take uh, swirly like purples and blues and some blacks together. Let's try that, shall we? It may work, it may not, but we'll try. You can either just go right in and do another coat or you can take another piece of paper towel. I'm gonna kind of double this one. I'm gonna get it not sopping wet, but I'm gonna get it wet and I'm gonna 
squeeze it right out so that it's not really, really wet. Take my time, unwrap it. This is the part that really bugs people. They don't have the patience for this, but a little bit of patience pays off. Open up your paper towel. Okay, I'm gonna put my paper towel down. Ooh, like this. I'm just gonna do one coat of that deep, deep blue. Then I'm gonna take my the rest of my blue here smoosh it up and add some blue through here. It's okay because I'm going to add black in here too, so don't worry about getting some of that other color. Okay, blue. I'm going to add a little bit of black in here in spots just to kind of make it cool. Right? Then I'm going to take some Purple. purple, yeah, add some purple in there. In spots, it's gonna give you a really cool galaxy look. Okay. Do, 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 do. okay. Cool, just smushing it around now. You can always go back in and add some more purple or blue in here if you want more blue. Anything you want. Okay, now this is this is kind of an experiment now because <laughs> I didn't do this with my original mug, but I think I want to try it with this one. I'm going to put this under the handle to kind of hold it up a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take this, just lay it on top. Just lay it down, peel it up. It's gonna give you that really cool galaxy look. Flip my thing over, this this way. Do the same thing over here. Cool. Oops, peel that off. Excellent, that's got a cool galaxy look. You can like sponge it if you want to sponge, but that's going to give you a really cool galaxy look. Okay. Then, then you're going to take, clean off your workspace, then you're going to take a paintbrush and you're going to now take the back end of a paintbrush and I have in my tray here some whoops some white right there and you can take this and actually put some really cool stars all over dot 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 Dot, dot. Right? Dot, 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 dot. And then you should have a pink tool um, in your kit that has a Sharpie Sharpie point on it. I think we stuck a little piece of foam on it for you so that you don't poke your fingers. Um, I'm gonna show you a really way to really cool way to make a shooting star. Do you wanna see how to make a really cool shooting star? If you have a paintbrush that's a bigger paintbrush. Okay, you're gonna clean it off so that there's no paint on the bristles. It doesn't have to be this type of paintbrush. It can be like a big brush like this, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some white and you're gonna put a little dot. Boink. Then you're gonna take the bristles and you're just gonna go. And that's gonna give you a shooting star, okay? So you can wipe off your bristles and just go right through. It'll give you a really cool like comet. And you're just gonna put some, some dots everywhere. And you can still sort of see where all your paper is. So if you want to, 
um, make sure that you know where that paper is so you can peel it all off. Okay, I'm happy with that. That is all my stars. Now, you're gonna let that dry just for a couple of minutes. And then you're going to take a pin tool. I just have a little straight pin with me today. So I'm gonna do it with a little pin tool, but you're gonna use your pink tool, okay? You're gonna paint your inside of your mug, whatever color you want. I think, I think I'm gonna do mine. Um, I think I'm gonna do mine. I wanna do kind of a purpley blue, but I used a lot of my, um, a lot of my, look at, I'm gonna do this really cool thing. I, it's gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up some blue and some purple and some white. And I'm just gonna kind of mix it all in here. Just kind of go in like this really cool purpley blue white striped thingy going up. That's what I'm gonna do. Purple or blue, purple and white and stripe. Look at it, it looks pretty cool. Purple. I mean, blue, purple, and white, striping it up. I'm not doing a lot of coats in there because I don't want to overwork it. I like these streaks that I'm getting. So I'm just going to kind of work with that. And then I'm going to do the inside. There we go. Oh yeah, I like the streaks that I've got going in there. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see how cool that looks? I'm gonna leave it like that because that's kind of cool. And then I'm gonna do my um, top edge just black. And then I wanna do one more coat on my handle too, okay? So I'm gonna take another paintbrush or clean this paintbrush, whatever. I have this brush I'll use. I'm gonna take some of my black and I do it around the top edge. Now you can pause this video anytime you want and rewatch and do it. Um, sometimes what I like to say is it, it's a good idea to watch the video first, then, um, then you can rewatch it while you're doing it, but watch the first the video first without doing it. You could also do some really cool things like look up your uh, birth sign constellation. So if you were born in August and you're a Leo, you can look up how the star chart looks for Leo and you could actually make that constellation in your cup. Or you could look up um, your parents' constellations um, and you could put those on the cup, however you want to. Okay, I'm gonna do, um, my, my mug's still kind of wet, but I'm just gonna repaint my handle one more time in black. Mm -hmm. Straight out black. It will probably be darker than the rest, but that's okay. Because I didn't do blue black this time. I'm just doing straight black on here. It'll just make it stand out a little bit more. Taking my time around the spots that I don't want it to be too sloppy. Black, 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 dab, dab, dab. Take the time and do your line work. Make sure you're getting all the spots that you want to get. There you go. Perfect. Color, color, color. And I think that's all the areas that I wanted to color. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to get this out of the way. And I take my sharp tool. You've got your pink tool, but I didn't have a pink one here. So not with me, not at the table. 
But now I'm going to look for my planet. So I can see I have one right here. I'm going to take my sharp little pin tool, find my planet, pull the paper away. Oh, planet number one. I know I have one right here. Take my piece of paper, pull planet number two away. Look at how cool that's looking so far. Okay. Mm, I have one up here. Oops. I can just see the edge of the paper right here. There it is. Planet number three. I did five planets. So planet number four is right down here. Ooh, I put a lot of stars on that one. And then my big old planet number five right here. Awesome. Okay. So you can see all my planets. You can see the cool spacey background. Um, it's We're going to fire it. It's going to look super cool. If you have spots like this that you don't like, um, you have a couple of options. You can find something with a flat edge. Um, I have just a paintbrush here with a flat edge. And you could take this and just kind of lightly scrape off that back edge just to straighten up that line if you want to if you really want a smooth edge to your planet um, and if you had any paint that bleeds you can just fix it this way nice light scratch you don't want to go too deep you don't want to scratch into down to the um to the bare bisque but you just can take a slight little scratch and take off some of those some of those little edges or you can leave it and know that it's homemade. That's how I'm gonna leave it, just like that. All right, so there is my space mug. You're gonna to wanna to put your name on it. So don't forget to put your name on the bottom. I suggest that if you painted it black here, then put your name in um, white paint or yellow paint, something bright that's really gonna show. Um, yeah. That's your space mug. I think it's fantastic. So you're gonna bring that back to the studio. We're gonna fire it in our oven. It's gonna get super shiny. And then you can drink hot cocoa out of it. You can do whatever you want. I love this. So cool. Isn't that neat? Awesome. I hope that you enjoyed this class. Uh, I hope that you have some super fun times making a mess because I mean, look at how much of a mess I made. If you're not making a mess, are you really having fun? Come on, <laughs> now look at my hands, right? That's how you know you've arted. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, hope you had fun and can't wait to see your mugs. We'll talk to you soon.